Israel has a genocidal intent against the Palestinians in Gaza. Gaza has become a place of death and despair. Uh, I am joined right now by a hero of mine and also a Pulitzer Prize winner, a best-selling author, a professor, an activist, and uh, an icon. Please welcome Chris Hedges. Hello. Thanks, Lee. Thanks. You've seen war. Uh, I am happy to say I never have. Um, but this is not war. This is, uh, can you talk about the difference? Because, you know, the the mortality rate of children in modern warfare is like four to six percent. And in Gaza, it's like 45 percent. Right. Well, it's not war because Hamas doesn't have, they don't have any mechanized units. They don't have any artillery. They don't have an air force. They don't have a navy. They don't have any they have crude rockets, but they don't have any missiles. They don't have tanks. They, they don't have anything. I mean, it's it's uh, uh, and, and Hamas is largely in the tunnels. So the, the, it, it is clearly designed to eradicate uh, the Palestinians from Gaza to make it uninhabitable. That's why all the medical centers, clinics, hospitals have been destroyed. I mean, in, Israel has been individually targeting wells. You, you, the, the, the point is to uh, make it uh, a, a place where that cannot in any way sustain life as they orchestrate a famine and then, of course, infectious diseases as well. There's no clean water. Gaza has become a place of death and despair. Uh, the, 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 the water is contaminated. So um, it, it's really... I mean, I covered the uh, famine in the southern Sudan in the late 80s, which was pretty awful. But but Israel wins the prize on this one. It, it is really disgusting. It's, it's clearly a war against the Palestinian people. It clearly is, meets all the criteria of genocide. Uh, they're bringing down, it's why, you know, the families, when, when you hear about the deaths of families, it's like, a hundred family members. It's because in Gaza, families live grouped together. I mean, it's one of the most densely populated places on the planet. So if a son or a daughter gets married, they actually just add a, another uh, story to their building, or they're all living on the same street. So uh, when Israel obliterates that street or bombs that building, then you have generations of a family completely wiped out at once. That That's happening repeatedly. Um, and then the targeting of journalists, uh, the targeting of academics, uh, writers, poets, doctors, university. I think there's a hundred academics that have been killed. I mean, it, it's it, it is a way to and that and and the bombing of museums, the bombing of cultural centers, the destruction of Gaza's main library. That's an impart, important component of any genocidal project because what you're doing is is eradicating an identity. You're eradicating cultural expression. And of course, quite uh, in terms of the targeting of journalists, you're eradicating the ability uh, to even report on what's happening to you. So uh, th th these are all systematic uh, and have been from the beginning. And the idea that this is, I mean, Hamas, well, first of all, Hamas exists outside of Gaza. Um, even the United States in intelligence reports that have been printed in the New York Times said that Hamas is far from destroyed. Uh, I mean, I was surprised to say that they have at least another two months of uh, fighting capability. Uh, I mean, given the fact that, that it's very difficult to get for them to get munitions, uh, and they're, of course, relying on their stockpiles. I mean, even that surprised me. So, no, this is a war against the Palestinian people. That's the intent. Israel has a genocidal intent against the Palestinians in Gaza. Uh, and, and that's why South Africa brought the case uh, courageously and correctly to the International Court of Justice. 